Hi everyone! How to make a mood board for fashion? The best way to show you that is to go through a concrete example. So I will show you my work and I will get the help of my process book. The first step in the creation process is the so-called ID generation. At that time I was living in New York, I had winter weather until here, and I saw all these sad deteriorated parts of the city that I kind of wanted to repair and I thought okay that could be the basis for a concept. If I think of abandoned, deteriorated things, what does it mean to me? With a mind map. Abandoned means this and this and this to me. It means decayed, it means damage, it means I want to repair it somehow. And then I wonder, okay, those big ideas, what would they look like if I describe them with visual words? Decayed and damaged could be that it has holes, that it has rust, it could be paint coming off the wall, etc, etc. And I decline it until I run out of ideas. At that stage, don't censor yourself, just write down anything onto paper that comes to your mind. Usually I do that for about 10 minutes, after that my brain starts to get slower. If I'm not happy with the result after 10 minutes, I sleep on it, I spend one night and I look at it the next day. And usually, latest on the next day, I have what I need. The second step of the process is Pinterest time. So in Pinterest, I gather pictures that I find looking for the keywords from my mind map. Here I gathered rust, abandoned things, old objects. I love those arches really much of old buildings from the 19th century. Here's also a church that I really like. Here you see nature invading abandoned objects from everyday life, which is quite sad, and so on. While creating a Pinterest board, I don't filter and censor myself either. I just take all the pictures that I like making sure to have at least varied shapes, textures, colors, materials and dimensions because you're going to need all those elements to get a good mood board later. Um, if you want to have a look at my Pinterest board, the entire thing, here is my Pinterest account and also in the description below this video. The third part of my process is going back to scissors and paper. I put all those Pinterest pictures into PowerPoint or Illustrator and I print out everything. And then the editing process starts. I cut the pictures out, I cluster them, I do that by hand so I can take the time to wonder why I like them, what I can do with them. For example, here I have beautiful colors. I have this paint peeling off the wall. Here I have old buildings, I have those arches, those churches. I kind of kept this idea of an arch for later. I've got more abandoned things here. I've got beautiful colors and textures, so I cluster them into a single separate page. My favorite here is this one. I like the bubbles that pop out. Um, could I use that? Could I do something with it? Can I make fabric somehow look like this? Interesting question. I like the idea of repairing things. So um, binding somehow, weaving things back together. Um, this is an idea that I was very interested in. And at this point, I start experimenting with materials. Here I tried things with a heating machine, a heating press. Can I get those bubbly textures like on the rusty surface? This is horse hair that you use for wedding dresses. Can I make it melt and burn somehow? Can I imprint marks onto polyester? I went to the store and just bought stuff to try on with. I also tried to burn some wool. Here you see the result, it was black, it went beautiful rusty orange. Here I tried to melt polyester into it and made it silver, it's beautiful. So I just try stuff out. When I start sketching, I try to use the shapes, the textures and the feelings that I thought of in the pre-work and in the mind map. And I try to best show this damage, abandoned effect on the garments because my end goal here is a garment. And funny enough, it gave me silhouette which are really loose, really romantic, a bit nostalgic and the idea of feeling suffocated. And then I came up with the idea of a corset and I thought, okay, I need to get back to research because this corset is a thing that I'm missing right now. Doing some more Pinterest research, I came up with beautiful corset pictures and I thought, okay, this suffocating idea can be expressed with a corset garment. You see here Alexander McQueen, here is Jean-Paul Gaultier, beautiful things and actually Rather than modern ones, I thought to convey this idea of old and damaged, I need to go through history corsets and have a look at how they used to be made in the past. 
Now is the crucial moment when I take a step back and think, okay, of everything and all the input that I gathered now in my process book, what is sticking? What do I still remember? I had warm oranges and browns. I have rust. I have the arches of abandoned churches. I have those decayed and, and bubbly, rusty textures. I have the idea of being suffocated, which led me to this corset story. Um, yeah, what do I do with this? <laughs> I gather everything and I try to represent it into five to six pictures put together and harmonized onto one page. That's the definition of a good mood board. And so this is my final pick and my final mood board. It conveys everything that I wanted to say. It has keeping elements together. It has my beautiful rusty bubbly texture. It has suffocation through a old and soft colored corset. It has pain peeling of the walls. It has those arches that I found beautiful and soft and an abandoned house to carry the overall mood. At this point, you need to pay a little bit of attention to the contrast and to the composition. Here, I blurred the line because from white to gray, it was a bit too harsh. And here, for example, I color corrected this pink. It was a bit too bright. It didn't quite fit into the rest of the mood. So I made that color a little bit softer. Overall, I'm very happy with the result. It conveys everything that I wanted to say. So that was a quick run through through my creative process. If you would like to see the steps again, have a look at my blog, link here and in the description below this video. Now I have an offer for you. If you are interested in seeing from the mood board which garments I created, um, give a like or put it in the comments below this video and I will be happy to make a video on that topic especially and show you the garments that resulted from this mood board. What to watch next? On this side, you will find a tutorial about how to draw the basic fashion figure, that the one that I use for the quick sketching that you saw in the process book. And on the other side, you will find here a video about how I got my inspiration and the concept idea for my first collection. Thank you very much for staying until the end and see you next week for our next video. Bye bye.